Congratulate Mark on uh, most of all tonight for rebranding and bringing together two great Virgin Islands experiences, the Rock Cafe and the Pussers. I know that it will do well. And I know it's going to do excellent because a number of persons would remember the Pussers Outpost, the best dining experience in the British Virgin Islands for years. You combine that with the best dining experience in Rock Cafe, what do you have? Voila! <laughs> there is nothing to beat it. I just want to encourage our budding entrepreneurs to look at what Mark has accomplished. He started with nothing and look at what he's accomplished. Congratulations to you, Mark, for your accomplishment. We are very, very proud of you as a family. The Rock is back, baby. <laughs> I waited six long years to say that. <laughs> But well, I'm truly excited tonight that Rock Cafe is, is opening again here in Virgin Garda. I just want to comment and thank Honorable Vantapool and his family for, for trusting the Virgin Garda economy, for trusting the vision, for understanding the transformation and what needs to happen to invest here in Virgin Garda and bring your energy and bring your investment here with us. Again, we thank you and all the very best as you move forward. Congratulations to the Vantapool family on this major accomplishment. It's inspirational for me because of course I've spent a lot of time around the family and I've heard the stories of the humble beginnings. No matter your beginnings, once you have the ability to dream, once you have the ability to believe in yourself and walk hard, you can be a success. One thing I can admire about the Vanterpool family and Mark Vanterpool is that everything he does, he involves his family. And that is important. We've been through hurricanes. We've been through pandemics. We're going through a situation where we have two world wars. But yet, Mark Vanterpool has seen it fit to have the confidence to make huge investments. He's betting on the BVI and he's betting on himself. God's blessings and VG, you rock. Tonight is, it is a very special night for us because it's a moment that we gathered together for a place that, a reopening of a place that we held in our heart. And we all know that Mark will do a wonderful job. Cheers to a new beginning that continues with the sex of this very cherished place. Thank you. To be here in Virgin Gorda, to share in a part of this wonderful community. I want to thank God for that privilege. We are taking what Dwight and Paolo have created and we are hoping with the ideas that they've given me to make it even better. So you can look out for the Rock Cafe to be one of the best restaurants, but not only a restaurant, Rock Cafe is going to be one of the best entertainment centers in the Caribbean or in the world. We can be as good or better than anyone in the world, and that's going to be the Rock Cafe for you, the people of the Virgin Islands and for the tourists who come here to visit us from time to time. I want to promise you that, and I want you to hold me to that promise over the next several years. So thank you, Dwight and Paolo, for handing over to me, and best wishes to you. I believe in the BBI. Thank you all for coming tonight. All of you have been here to make a part of it. All of you have told me that the Rock Cafe has been the best thing you've ever seen in Virgin Gorda in the past, and you want to see it come back in the future. Those of you who call me from New York and tell me, make sure you put back the treehouse. It's coming next year. I want to say thank you all for supporting the Rock Cafe. Thank you for all for supporting us for all of our businesses. God bless you. God bless the Virgin Islands.